What is QoS? I got a couple of people that asked, what is QoS? And QoS stands for quality of service. And in terms of networking, quality of service is really about traffic shaping and prioritizing traffic. If you've ever been sitting at home with your family or shared connection, and you're watching Hulu, and somebody decides to kick up a download of a patch for Rift or for Alt, no one plays Ultima online, um, some other game that patches on a regular basis. Uh, usually the MMOs are the worst for patching on a regular basis. You may see Hulu go into buffering or change the video level, even though you ought to have more than enough bandwidth to do both of those things. QoS sets the priority on packets and allows you to reserve a certain amount of bandwidth for each of the op applications that you're running. Depending on the router that you have, you may have different levels of control. I'm running an ASUS RT-N56U, which I love. It's a very fast router. It was very easy to set up. But the QoS settings on it are lousy. That doesn't really matter because it's just me. I don't have to share my internet connection, so I don't usually have throttling issues. But their QoS only allows me to pick, do I want to have games enabled? Do I want to have internet applications enabled? Do I want to have VoIP slash video streaming enabled? And it basically takes my three megabits of upload. I've got six in reality, but I only tell it that I have three because it seems to shape better that way. By setting it to three, it allots one megabits for games, one megabits for streaming, and it doesn't really do anything for me because watching Hulu, if I'm watching even the 480p version of Hulu, it's generally going to be more than one megabit that it is downloading at. And this doesn't have upload and download throttling settings differently. So in my particular instance, QoS is worthless. In a good system, you get to specify traffic to this IP address or on this port or from this computer gets this priority. And you can order the priority to say, who's first in line. So you can say, I'm dad, I'm first in line, or I'm Billy and Billy's first in line because Billy's doing his homework, but Billy's only first in line if Billy is working on Wikipedia or another you know, educational website. Otherwise, dad's video games are first in line. So you really get to shape how your traffic is being used. And if you're running something like the WRT54G that you can run DDWRT on, you get very fine control over QoS. If you're running an off-the-shelf firmware from a major provider, you're probably only going to get the buttons that I have of, do I want to be able to do gaming and do I want to be able to do VoIP slash video streaming? The VoIP slash video streaming does work very well if you've got a VoIP phone like Skype or um, any of the other solutions from Comcast or any of the other people that have a VoIP system. And so having that works nicely because it does prioritize the voice first. And the gaming probably does help some. I've, noted, I've never been watching a movie while playing Xbox to know. Um, but generally you're better off getting a good firmware like the DDWRT where you can set finer resolution. But you're only better off getting a good firmware like DDWRT if you are at the level of proficiency that you can do that install yourself and have a reasonable understanding of how QoS is. And I'm not actually going to show you that one because while I would like you all to be very much smarter, you can really mess up your network by installing DDWRT if you don't know what you're doing, which is really the difference between one of those custom firmwares and the stock firmware is that the, the stock firmware won't let you destroy your network. And with DDWRT, I have occasionally flipped a switch that I didn't know what I was doing and made it so that I couldn't even log into 
my router, I had to do a complete reset and then reset all the settings in the router, which could take, you know, quite a bit of time depending on how complex your network 